started uh, started doing graffiti like in the 90s, and I wanted to go to I wanted to go to art school to pretty much get my degree in graffiti. And then uh, the art school kind of pushes you out of your comfort zone. So it's kind of so I did a project where I was doing hand embroidered graffiti panels, and then before you know it, that's all I did was hand embroidery. That's just what I did now. But it's still kind of with a focus on the street and the the, the detritus and the throwaway, and so they slowly moved from the, the hand embroidery and graffiti panels to then like looking at the, the the trash on the ground and the trash on the ground to me always had that relationship. So I thought it was funny. I went I went to art school with this um with this object. I was, my object was to do large graffiti like you know John Chabasque or like uh, Keith Haring or like you know those big kind of graffiti. But I came out doing little tiny hand embroidery, so it's like kind of like when you walk around. So these are essentially it's essentially still street art because it's like it's on the street and I find it. But these particular works, it's like they're from I went to the trip to New York last year. My wife thought it was funny. I had this whole bag of rubbish I was bringing back, and I, I go for walks every morning while she slept in around the neighborhood. I was staying in Brooklyn and just find little bits, of, photographed them in situ and little bits of rubbish, which to me. It's, it's kind of like, this is traces of people that travel through the environment and it, it changes the space. And it's just kind of like a reflection on the society and the people that live there. So it's got the psychogeographical kind of feel and contextualization to it. So it's like, kind of like, the concrete on this particular works is just, um, I thought instead of, um, I'll put them in frames and I've, I've, I've made hand embroidered concrete, but they, they, that's what I was bringing to use you're bring, beginning to bring in like found objects as well as just the hand embroidered objects so you can't tell what's real and what's 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 real and what's simulated like it's a, it's a simulation but like these take you know it was real funny you get really used to the process so i spent you know i could spend 10 10 or 12 hours it took to embroider this small uh, cigarette packet and the other one was like easily 20 hours that kind of ate into a bit of my work time took it with me to work to get it finished in time i kind of i uh, got a little bit of Enthusiastic about this project and produced, um, decided I could produce so much work in a short period of time. And then, so it was, first of all, it was in my lunch breaks at work, and then my lunch breaks started being two, being two hours at work. And then, and yesterday it was three hours, <laughs> so I could get it finished. So then I could work out the magnetic system to hold it to the concrete. And then it's, you know, it's just like it kind of sneaks it off. I may be a time up next week. I won't have any lunch breaks or anything. <laughs>